G'day guys and welcome to another lot of Cisco practice questions and today we'll be all about telnets so we'll get underway with the telnet questions. You have telnet into a switch on the network from your router and now wish to suspend your telnet session. How do you do this? Suspend, pause, control, shift, 6, then X, control, delete. It's not Windows so it's not uh, control, delete. Skeptical on those but simply this is knowing uh, and remembering the answer to this, it's Control Shift 6 then X to do that. And in Windows, it is Control X to stop the command, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, it'll be one of those Control Z, Control X ones that gets you over the line there. 228, which of the following iOS commands is used to connect to VTY ports on a Cisco device? Telnet, Login, CDP, Connect, Resume. And being we're talking about Telnet and actually used to connect to VTY ports when you're using Telnet that is what you're connecting to VTY ports so it is Telnet the answer 229 what port does Telnet use so another a lot of these are rote learning questions such answers so we've got a couple of 23s TCP and UDP it's a TCP protocol and you know 21 is FTP 25, I couldn't tell you off the, off the top of my head, I think it's SMTP, I think it's a mail protocol, 25. 22 is another protocol, which will come up shortly, which I won't give away now, it is A, 23. 230, which of the following secure protocols should be used instead of telling it for remote administration of the Cisco device? HTTPS, VPN, IPsec, and SSH. So, Telnet uh, doesn't really encrypt any data or information. Uh, it's all sent over clear text, so can be pretty insecure there. And SSH is the other protocol, which is a little bit more safe. 231, what port does SSH use? So it's 23 for the Telnet, uh, I guess, yeah, TCP port. And it is not 21 because that is FTP, it is F22. 232, which is the following represents characteristics of Telnet with Cisco devices, select two. And I may have hinted at something before, traffic is encrypted, traffic is unencrypted, no longer support on the Cisco devices. That's not gonna be the answer. Should be used instead of SSH, requires configuration of the, on the destination device. You can nearly probably do a process of elimination here. So we know it's unencrypted, because it's all clear text and which the following represents so we know it is unencrypted so that is one we know it's not encrypted so we can cross out that one it is supported because it's a command <laughs> and it's a protocol they use should be used instead of ssh well that's if you want to be unsecure so it's probably not going to be that so that leaves us with B and E requires configuration on the destination device and traffic is unencrypted. 233, your network has been up and running for a few months. Two days ago, Bob, the network administrator assigned an IP address to the switch. Why would an IP address be assigned to the switch? For remote management to allow the switch to forward traffic based on layer three address to allow the switch to forward traffic based on layer two address to allow devices connected to the switch to communicate. In this instance, uh, switches don't necessarily need IP addresses attached to them. Pretty much only if you want to log into them again or directly interact with that, which would mean A would be the answer for remote management. 234, you have suspended a telnet session and wish to reconnect to that session again. What command do you use? Reconnect IP address, re resume device ID, reconnect device ID and resume IP address. This will simply be down to whatever the standard is, whatever the syntax is. And the syntax in this case is resume device ID B. 235, what command do you use to determine if you have any suspended telnet sessions? Look at the keywords in this one. Show sessions, show users, show suspensions, show suspended users. Okay, so we'll just pretty much have a look through there, make a, ju a good judgment and show sessions is the answer. A is the answer for that one. 236, your manager would like you to monitor who is remotely connected to the router via Telnet. How secure that is, we won't know. What command would you use? Show sessions, so suspensions, so show users, show suspended users. 
Show user sounds pretty good, as we want to find out who else is connected. They are not suspended. Uh, it's not necessarily directly involved with the session. Users aren't suspended, so C is the answer. And finally, 237, you are having trouble telling into one of your Boston switches from the New York office. You have no problem telling into the switch when you are in the Boston office. What is the most what is most likely the solution? Enabling routing on the switch, configure configure a static route on the router in New York, configure a default gateway on the switch, configure a default gateway on the New York router. So in the office there's no troubles. So when I initially saw this I was thinking VPN because often when accessing resources outside of the office can be a bit more difficult. And so I'm connecting to a different switch from a different network means that there needs to be some kind of gateway to be able to connect to that switch and that is what we're lacking here there's no real problems here with the router because um, he can get to those switches in general which would mean it less likely be the router's fault so the answer here is C configure a default gateway on the switch that would first need to be configured so then outside the office he is able to, yeah, I guess type in the address and navigate through that way. And uh, that's currently what's lacking, and that's why I see his answer. And that's all, folks. Thanks for joining in. I've got my website there, onlinecomputercoaching.com, if you want to check out some more video content and some podcasts on there. And uh, I've got plenty more content on the channel. Feel free to check that out. Plenty of Cisco stuff. And I uh, appreciate every, each and every one of you subscribing away to me. And I be very appreciative if everyone just subscribes away. We'll keep bringing out more content for more people. That's what I'm here. That's what I'm all about. So big thank you once again, guys. Thanks for hanging around. I'll see you all next time.